I'm at Joy Creek Nursery today in Scapoose with Anna, and Anna, you're also a designer, a landscape designer with Optic Verve. Yes. And you love to do big gardens, but you also love to do these small tabletop gardens. So tell us a little bit about these creations. Oh, they're like little gems. They're basically a planter without the pots. <laughs> so they're very accessible. I mean, you don't have, you don't need a lot of money. You don't need anything because you can put plant right on a hard surface like this. That's amazing. And all you need to do, first of all, it's another fun activity to get started is to go hiking. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't have time, I've actually pulled over many times. <laughs> I see some, some rotting thing in the ditch and I'm like, oh, I need that. Right, right. So I'll, I'll stop over and, and I'll, I'll, I'll grab it. And then here's one of those. That's very cool. Yeah. And, and um, you've really learned this from Richie Steffens mm -hmm. from the Miller Botanical, who has classes yep. here a lot at Joy Creek. Yeah, and then usually once a year. He also, um, this is also a nice resource, mm -hmm. this, this book. Yeah. So really, you've, you've learned so much, but then you've done your own creativity. So how do you pick plants? How do you know what kind of plants to pick? It's the same principle as any other co-planting, I guess. You pick things that have similar light needs, uh, sure. water needs, all of this kind of stuff. Uh, I always like to put something that's evergreen, mm -hmm. you know, like, like these things. And then you can embellish with all the stuff that will go away in the winter. But you need something that make it look good year round. And also remember that it's, it's like a planter, it's not gonna last forever. So it's totally fine if something looks bad, yank it and put something else in. Right. So, but it's a really fun little thing and it, it's a very, we're all in an urban jungle pretty much, unless those of us that are happy enough to live out, outside of the city. Right. We have lots of concrete, lots of hard surfaces and you can tell from the house plant craze that this is kind of becoming a hunger. It's, it's, Plants feel a void whether we're aware of it or not. Right. So this is a really good way to sort of get started. It's a miniature garden, miniature landscape, sure. and it's you can fit it almost on your windowsill if you don't have a balcony. That's so. true. And so for basics, mm -hmm. just to tell us, you don't use really use potting soil. You kind of create your own mix. Yeah, and here I'm actually using Joy, Joy Creek standard mix. It has a lot of, of uh, wood-based. Uh, but it's something that has a lot of air, if I do a lot of sun gardening, I'll also use gravel. Okay. So I tend to mix in a few. So it's good for drainage couples. Yeah, too. good for drainage. But like I said, it's like a lot of times things that you put in pots, it gets too wet and, mm -hmm. and it doesn't drain enough. This one, you'll never have to worry about drainage All right. because it just spills right off. But you also have to water it every day. All right. So we're so. going to actually build one mm -hmm. and then we'll come back and show you the results. relatively short time you have this little miniature garden little miniature landscape that is just precious yes and it's so much fun to make and really you can tweak it down the road because yep. like any garden sometimes things don't perform exactly things die and then it was like wow that got awfully big that doesn't you know that throws off my balance right. the one thing about stifling them like this because some of them are would normally get bigger they're not going to get as big because oh, they don't sure. have their optimal conditions. Right. But they will still be fine. Right. And I love so. that you have like a bag of tricks. So yep. have lots of things available while you're creating because things change. You might have something in your mind, but it kind of evolves. Yeah. And you see, oh, yeah, that color's not right. And you just switch them out. Or I like this better. Or, right. You know, and it, it's, a, it's a fun place, which is what makes, makes it so fun to come to a place like Joy Creek. Right. Because it's a primarily a mail order nursery. Everything is in small pots. They have gazillion little things oh, choices, that, are, uh, that are just, and you can just create. Create. So, Anna, it's a little bit loose right now. So, how do you help that kind of get together? Good question. Uh, so, ideally, you'll want to build this one at home mm -hmm. in in the spot where it's going to go. But if you have to, for, for whatever me reason, move it, uh, fishing line. Sure. I got forty pound line right here you just, just it. wrap it up mm -hmm. and and then you any any normal strength person should be able to lift a, a little thing like this and then you can bring it home and of course with time you need to water it every day okay because like i said it doesn't hold any water really beyond what the soil and the, the wood holds and the plants but 
it will eventually be all together. It will all knit it all together. The roots will do their job and, and you will have this great little sculpture. So really, this is a great project. It's such a fun thing to do for this summertime to have an addition to your garden. So really, come out to Joy Creek or give Anna a, a buzz on her website and you can maybe meet her out here. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity.